हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू चाणक्य आई एस अकेडमी करेंट अफेयर एम सी क्यूज लेट सी टू डेज क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन रिसेंटली इनफ्यूज मिशन वॉज इन द न्यूज इट इज एसोसिएटेड विद विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फील्ड्स द ऑप्शन आर ए स्टडी ऑफ सुपर कंडक्टर्स बी स्टडी ऑफ सुपरनोवा सी स्टडी ऑफ केमिकल इमर्शंस एंड डी स्टडी ऑफ क्वांटम फिजिक्स The correct answer is B study of supernova. Let's talk about integral field ultraviolet spectroscopic experiment mission. NASA launches rocket in mission to study 20000 year old supernova. NASA has a new mission dedicated to studying the information of new star systems specifically how they emerge in space after stellar deaths. The space agency kicked off its integral field ultraviolet spectroscopic experiment mission by sending off a rocket from New Mexico on Sunday October 29 NASA explained that a constellation called Cygnus is on display throughout the northern hemisphere for a few months out of the year and within it is a supernova the Cygnus loop the loop is the remnant of a star that was measured to be about 3 times the size of the sun prior to exploding under its own gravity the event gave away to the formation of cygnus loop nearly 20000 years ago with infuse nasa is aiming to learn about supernova's formation from the dust and gas leftovers from bygone stars which gives way to not only new stars but also entire star systems and planets for the mission nasa created a telescope that measures far ultraviolet light to look closer at some of the gas left over from the explosions still sizzling at temperatures ranging between 90000 and 540000 degrees fahrenheit the rocket contains a spectroscope an instrument that looks at what the light and gas are made out of and how it has moved over time question number 2 with reference to indian ocean dipole consider the following statements one iod is similar to the el nino phenomenon occurring in the indian ocean between the indonesian and malaysian coastline in the east and the african coastline near somalia in the west two a negative iod usually brings good rainfall in southern india which of the above statement is or are correct the options are a one only b two only c both one and two and d neither one nor two the correct answer is a one only iod sometimes referred to as the indian nino is similar to the el nino phenomenon occurring in the relatively smaller area of the indian ocean between the indonesian and malaysian coastline in the east and the african coastline near somalia in the west a positive iod usually brings good rainfall in southern india question number 3 recently shyan 6 was in the news it is a the options are a research vessel b hypersonic missile c spacecraft and d moon surface lander the correct answer is a research vessel let's know about chinese research vessel xian 6 chinese vessel begins research of the coast of sri lanka amid india's concern over the vessel's visit chinese research vessel xian 6 is set to begin its two day research of the sri lankan coast the research will be pursued of sri lanka's western coast and in collaboration with sri lanka's national aquatic resources research and development agency and the university of ruhona it is marine scientific research the ministry had earlier said the vessel was at the colombo port for replenishment let's know about xian 6 research ship xian 6 was added to china's fleet to marine research vessels in 2020 It is said to be the country's first scientific research vessel focusing on geophysical exploration. Question number 4. Recently, Kurkuma Kakchingens was in the news. It is a The options are A, species of bat, 
B. Species of flowering plant. C. Species of algae. And D. Species of mushroom. The correct answer is B. Species of flowering plant. Let's know about curcuma capchingens. The researchers in Manipur have discovered a new flowering plant species named curcuma capchingens. It belongs to the algiospermic family Gingibarinci, which includes curcuma, gingers and cardamom. It is a robust plant as tall as 8 feet having large terminal inflorescence. It has close resemblance to curcuma fria 1, a species reported from Thailand, but it is distinguished by having lemon yellow rhizomes with a very bitter taste. The conservation status is data deficient under red list category. Until this discovery, there were 93 recorded curcuma names as accepted species worldwide. Question number 5. The international group of seven nations include the options are 1. Germany, 2. Russia, C. China, 4. Canada, 5. France and 6. United States. Select the correct answer quote. The options are A. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, B. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, C. 1, 4, 5, 6 and D. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The correct answer is C. 1, 4, 5, 6. The international group of seven is an intergovernmental political form consisting of Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, the United Kingdom and the United States. Originating from an ad hoc gathering of finance ministers in 1973, the G7 has since become a formal high profile venue for discussing and coordinating solution to major global issues especially in the areas of trade, security, economics and climate change. We conclude today's session here. Tomorrow we will meet with few more MCQs. Till then please like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update.